Let's see, can these guys tell me anything yet? Can I get into the security building? Yes. Run your card through the slot to call the elevator. Be vigilant. I'd like to report a fault in the elevator. Yes? Yes, it's non-functional. In what way, exactly? Non-functional in that it doesn't work. Yes? Heard about a busted elevator, Sam? Which busted elevator is that, Norville? He didn't say. I'm leaving now. Come on, Joey. He can't fit. Oh, oh no! Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. You dumbass. I hope his board isn't broken. It's too heavy to carry. I ought to move that trash. It's too heavy to carry. Oh, we got his circuit board. I ought to far too heavy to lift. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. I don't believe you. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh, yes. That's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. <laughs> What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Never mind. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. And no, I don't like her I'm a stranger today. here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. <laughs> Overman's <laughs> only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. 
and I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? There's nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Oh, how ghastly for you, my dear. What's the mutt's name? Well, really, he's not a mutt. His name is Spunky. Spunky. He looks just like his owner. What do you mean by that? He's really cute and fluffy. Flattery will get you nowhere, young man. Never mind. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant Psychos with your flamethrower and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. <laughs> Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. That'll do it. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Ah, oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. What other games have you got? Not many, cause they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game. Onan the Barbarian. Onan the Barbarian. And Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! Oh, I'd yeah, like to escape interested. to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Piermont, and she's a pig. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint you the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, Clever Dick. Clever Dick, It wow. filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. Don't remember dandelions. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. I'm not a kid, you can't lie to me. I haven't done that for months. See you later. Still the same. 
The leaves are shiny and waxy. It's too firmly root. It's too firm. Won't open. That's probably because it's locked. Good observation. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. No, oh, you're not nice. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. Something tells me I gotta talk to you. You mean people with money? No. People with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? What about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. How did I know? Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. Well, there's a dog, so what goes on in the club? Soon, I if I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but uh, seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze and the fact that it's off limits to security. See you later. Alright, let's go chase after her. Excuse me. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Thanks, I guess? Oh, come to Mummy, Spunky! Excuse me. <laughs> See you later. Nothing I could use. The no oh, come to mommy, Spunky. Doors are unremarkable, but this one has a certain je ne sais pas. Shut tight. And I can't talk to you yet. Excuse me. See you. It's the call button for an apartment. Hello! Who is this? 
It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. Welcome to my humble little home. I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. Uh, you must have so many it. questions to ask me. Yes, I have. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion! I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. Well, Darling. when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memory is a true painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities well, never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Are you going to sponsor me now? No, if that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Oh, God! She definitely was not wearing that before. Is that Mr. Colston? Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. I'd better not sit. She might take advantage of me. Yeah, she looks like she would. Let's see if it's all good.
Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart, with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. The door is too sturdy to break open. Maybe I could force it open. Hello! It's me. Camera! If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. If I pick up the bowl, it's full of bis- no Nothing left in the bowl. get that door open. Shut tight. I thought it was a member now. Excuse me. Never. Never That's too big and heavy to That's too
It's pivoted in the middle, like a seesaw. That dog is in my way. And I bet his bite is worse than his bark. A pallet of bricks. So that dog is... And I bet his bite... That dog... And I bet his... I'd better not inter... That dog, and I bet his... Oh, shit. What was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? Officer Blunt, come and help me, quickly! Just for a second you scared me, but you're only dummies. They must have switches to activate them, somewhere. Damned if I'm gonna look for them, though. His skin is cold, like plastic. His skin is... Oh, no. Not her. Not Anita. She appears to have been exposed to radiation. Her skin is burnt. Her skin... Wouldn't you know it? It's locked. Hmm. The wheels are locked in. I don't think a severed head. Yo! Yo! He doesn't have any. He doesn't. What was the point of this fucking room then? There could be something useful. A ventilation shaft. Better keep away from the edge, or I'll get sucked off. Wow, really? <laughs> 